Hey guys, what's up? This is Yash here and I'm back with another video on Wix. So if you haven't already signed up on Wix, do check out the links in description. We'll be adding the links to sign up and possibly any discount coupons we can find. So all you have to do is go to Wix.com and sign up. Let's get started. And once you sign in to Wix.com, you should be able to see this page. So the first thing we're going to do is click on create new site. So once we click on create new site, it's going to ask us the website, the kind of website we want to create. And today we're going to be focusing on creating a blog website. So let's click on blog. And as I've already mentioned in my previous videos, Wix allows you to create websites using two types of website builders. One is the website editor and the other one being the ADI. Now both of these end up giving us templates which we can edit for making or customizing the website but the website editor option gives you a huge variety of templates whereas the adi is more focused towards generating a website easily and quickly by just answering a few questions that suit your design needs so in today's video we're going to be using the website editor so let's click on choose a template once you click on choose a template you can see a lot of different templates getting listed and when you hover over each of these you can see there are two options edit and view so the edit option is to directly take you to editing the website and once you click on view it's going to give you a quick preview of how the website looks you can also click on view full demo to get a few full demo of the website so let's click on view full demo so once I click view full demo, you can see a live preview of the website of how it will look without any editing. This is how the template is and it looks pretty neat. So let's have a look at an individual blog post to see how it is and yeah, that looks pretty great. And another thing you can notice on the top left corner next to the Wix logo is the two toggle modes between desktop and mobile. So Wix editor also gives you the functionality to check your mobile responsiveness immediately. And I feel that's a very great convenience feature. So let's get started. So first we're going to return to the desktop mode and click on edit the site. So once you click on edit the site, it takes you to another page where it sets up the editor for you. This should typically take around a minute because Wix has to set up the whole editor, the drag and drop functionality. So let's wait for it to set up. And now we have it set it up. So let me quickly take you how, uh, through the top navigation bar. So this option right here is used to navigate between pages. So any page, once you click on any of these options, you're going to be navigated to that page. And as you can see, under blog pages, there are two kinds of pages they've listed. One is the blog itself and one is the post. So blog is the list of pages and sorry, blog is the list of posts and the post is the individual post. So that's about navigating through the pages. And as I've already shown you, these two buttons here are used to switch between the mobile and desktop modes of your website. The site button has a few quick options, say preview, feedback, publish view publish site the site history option is typically to give you you know the previous versions previous versions of your site and you can even roll back to those in case you find any changes which are not good and these two options give you the ability to duplicate your site or transfer the ownership of the site to someone else and you can also exit the editor so the settings tab has some advanced settings like connecting to a domain name such as so whatever you see in the top uh, url bar say google.com or facebook.com these are all called domains and if you, you don't want something like user.wix.com slash blog right so you would like to buy a domain and these are all advanced configurations so get found on google fair icon the icon which appears on the top tab bar is the fav icon. So 
and these are all other additional features which we won't be covering in this video so once you go to tools you can see toolbar layers rulers so these lines that appear here are the grid lines as you can see in the tools the grid lines are enabled so that's about that and if you're a developer and are looking to enhance your site with customizable or custom code this dev mode is for you however we won't be covering that too in this video so this is the help option which can help you to perform different sort of actions the upgrade button is basically there to uh, you know upgrade your plan this is to search the editor you know this this might come in handy sometimes in case you forget where the particular tool is located so wix also gives you the uh, capability to hire a partner for your website so someone who's a professional will help you with the design will help you with the show uh, showcasing of your brand by building custom graphics for you and they might help you set it up in case you're not very familiar with wix so that's it about that menu and let's have a quick look at this menu so this menu right here is the pages menu and it basically shows you a list of the pages which are present and this section right here called page transitions gives you the transition that is applied to the current page which is shown on landing so as you can see once i click something these are the transitions that come up and this button right here is the background button so you can select page backgrounds as images videos or anything you like over here this add button right here allows you to add text images gallery and a lot of different things which you can use to customize your website this option right here is the Wix app market. Now I've already mentioned in some of my previous videos, this is a really cool and great functionality provided by Wix because almost all of you might have used the app market like the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store and the app market on Wix is somewhat similar to that where people build custom applications to be used by Wix users on Wix so you can have custom applications so let's take an example of get traffic so this app is basically used to get traffic to your website to drive more visitors and this button right here is available in the free plan which is paypal button and this button basically adds the capability of getting or uh, getting your customers to pay you via paypal or stripe so these are some of the apps you can be sure to check out all the different apps and this right here is the media section so you can upload your media either from your computer or from your facebook account instagram google drive google photos so in all wix gives you a lot of functionality and you know a lot of connectivity to other apps and as you can see wix gives you free wix images and videos it also gives you a connection collection of images from shutterstock and those are all for free so that's how great wix is so once you click on this icon this is the blog manager you can add blog pages add blog elements and there's an option which helps you learn more about your blog too so you can check that out in case you're stuck anywhere in the future now i guess that's it for the first video guys do check out the links in the description in the next video i'll show you how to edit some basic stuff and after which i'll show you how you can publish your blog and how you can manage it in the future do check out the links in the description and like and share the video let us know in the comments what you'd like to know more thank you for watching the video